Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 8844. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Union calendar number 390, H.R. 8844. A bill to reauthorize the state trade expansion program of the Small Business Administration and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from New York, Ms. Velasquez, and the gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Luke Meyer, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New York. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. I rise today in support of HR, HR 8844, the Step Improvement Act of 2022. This bill reauthorizes the SBA State Trade Expansion Program, or STEP, as we call it. This program is a proven and effective program that gives small businesses the tools they need to enter and thrive in the global marketplace. Since its inception in 2010, STEP has helped firms access new markets and support $832 million in export sales in fiscal year 2021 alone. The program offers grants to all 50 states, U.S. territories, and D.C. This financial assistance aids export-related activities such as developing e-commerce capabilities, participating in export trade shows and foreign trade missions, creating international marketing materials and website globalization. Our committee held two hearings on STEP this Congress where we heard that demand for the program continues to increase across the country and improvements could be made to streamline the program. To that end, the Step Improvement Act of 2022 authorizes $30 million per year through fiscal year 2026 and mandates a standardized application process, increases grant spending flexibility, improves communication between the SBA and states, and enhances reporting requirements. The legislation allows businesses less than one year old to participate in the program, which will allow STEP to provide services to the most innovative small businesses that are exporting faster than ever before. The legislation has the strong support of the state international development organizations. I would like to thank the bill's sponsors, Mr. Evans, Ms. Kim, Ms. Newman, and Mr. Flood for their continued bipartisan work to improve STEP. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 8844. Thank you, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlelady reserves. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> I give myself as much time as I may consume and rise in support of H.R. 8844, the STEP Improvement Act. Small businesses are the drivers of innovation, leaders in job creation, and beacons of American ingenuity across the globe. The State Trade Expansion Program, or STEP, is a valuable tool for small businesses looking to export and expand into global markets. This program has made a real impact on small business owners who have used the program to internationalize their websites and create relationships on foreign market sales trips. In my district, this program has helped a veteran-owned business expand into 10 counties in Southeast Asia and helped a consulting co company transition from zero to 75% international sales. The legislation will ensure small businesses can continue to benefit from STEP by reauthorizing the program through 2026. Additionally, H.R. 8844 will improve the program by creating a standardized application process. Further, legislation requires the SBA to report best practices, lessons learned, and the program's performance metrics. I applaud Representatives Kim, Flood, Evans, and Newman for their bipartisan work on this legislation. I also want to thank the Chair for holding multiple hearings on this topic and for moving legislation forward. I urge my colleagues to support this bipartisan legislation. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen reserves, the gentlelady is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes, or as much time as he may consume, to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Evans, author of the bill. Gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of my bill, the state Extension Program and Improvement Act. 
This bill would reoffer a step for four more years and improve in several ways, including creating a standardized application process and completing performance metrics. As a member of both of the Small Business Committee and the Ways and Means Committee, I see trade as a tool, an economic toolbox to help small businesses expand and grow. Since 2011, STEP has been assisting small businesses with export development throughout the use of grants and introduced international marketplace. Trade needs help to create jobs, support jobs, which is good to the economy, community, and families in Pennsylvania. Over 1.5 million jobs were supported by the international trade in 2019, which accounted for 20% for all jobs in the state. Further, in 2020, nearly 15,000 companies exported goods from Pennsylvania, which 88% were small and medium-sized enterprises. Coming from the city of Philadelphia, where clearly nearly half of the population is African-American, I'm especially interested in finding ways to improve minority entrepreneurship. Many minority business and small businesses have a comprehensive advantage in conducting international business due to the cultural connections. It is important, and I thank the chair for showing the leadership to at least have this discussion. STEP has helped minority enterprise gain access to international markets which allow businesses to grow and thrive. I was excited to see the STEP awarded by the home state of Pennsylvania, $400,000 grant in 2022. This will go a long way towards supporting small businesses across the state. STEP needs to be reauthorized and improved. I'm asking my colleagues to support it. And I thank the chairperson and my colleagues on the other side for making this a bipartisan effort. This is in the collective venture. Again, I thank and yield back, Mr. Speaker, to the chair. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I'd like to yield as much time as you may consume to Mr. Flood from Nebraska, one of our newest members on the committee, but as a staunch supporter and has worked tirelessly for the small businesses of his community as well as those around the country. Mr. Flood. I'd like recognized. to thank the gentleman from Missouri, and I'm proud to co-lead H.R. 8844 with my colleagues, Congressman Evans, Congressman Newman, and Congresswoman Kim. I also want to thank Chairwoman Velasquez and Ranking Member Lukemeyer for their support on this bill. It's good to see Republicans and Democrats working in a bipartisan fashion on the Small Business Committee. When we can come to an agreement, the American people benefit. H.R. 8844 would reauthorize the state trade and export program for four fiscal years. STEP provides financial awards to states to assist small businesses with export development. To demonstrate the importance of this program, I'd like to highlight an example of a business that has benefited from the STEP program in my district. Paraclip Systems, LLC, based in Columbus, Nebraska, manufactures, of all things, non-intrusive fly, as in the insect, control products that you can install in your home. With a $10,000 investment, Paraclips was able to expand its sales and create 14 jobs. STEP leverages federal resources to ensure small businesses across the country can compete in the global marketplace. I am, pleased, I am pleased to be a co-lead of this legislation and urge my colleagues to support the bill. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentlelady from New York is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I have no further speakers, and I'm prepared to close. The gentleman woman reserves. The gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have no further speakers either, and I'm prepared to close. Um, Mr. Speaker, in a growing global economy, we must empower our small businesses to compete on the world stage. This legislation will ensure that entrepreneurs have ample opportunities to engage in international trade. H.R. 8844 also ensures accountability, which is very important, by requiring an analysis of the performance metrics of the program to ensure that it is effectively and efficiently supporting small businesses. I encourage my colleagues to support H.R. 8844. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Small businesses are truly the bedrock of the American economy, and exporting is one sure way for them to expand their profits at home and their presence overseas. 
HR 8844 will go a long way in ensuring small employers and entrepreneurs at any stage in their business journey can grow and open the doors to the global marketplace. By reauthorizing STEP, this legislation ensures that states and their small businesses will face fewer hurdles to participation and greater opportunities. Once again, I commend my colleagues, Representative Evans, Representative Keane, and Mr. Flo for their hard work on this legislation. I urge my colleagues to vote yes, and I yield back the balance of my time. Generally yields back. The question is, will the House of 